Hey guys, it's me again, Red, and welcome back to the Terror Zone. Today on our little journey, we will be taking into the animated shorts of Make My Music. We'll be looking into what they are based off of and some deleted scenes that are left out of these shorts and some things that were revealed in it and some things that are based off of. We're going to look into the real life stories of these shorts that they were based off of. To start, we'll be looking into the Martins and the McCoys. This short actually was not really in the final movie, per se. It was deleted later out of there because for censored reasons. Continuing with the ending. The ending ends up with the Martins and the Lacoys dying. But let's get into the story. It just was a, it just was a very harsh ending to, li to live on. And for Disney, that's very harsh to put on. But anyway... The story is that it's more like a Romeo and Juliet story where the two families are, well, against each other. And they don't like each other and they like to fight over each other with guns and such. Maybe that's why it was off, the gun violence. And they're like a hillbilly-like sort of way. So the two families really hate each other. So they fight over each other all the time. But their two teenage lovers, a boy and a girl, fall in love. Pretty much like Romeo and Juliet. And that's really how it all goes. And until eventually they die and the and their young and their younger descendants continue their heritage. There's not much I could say about this short, really. Just that it goes a different way than Romeo and Juliet does. In a different way. Disney has tried to make this concept before of many of the other movies, but unfortunately they never really came to fruition. Anyway, it is all it is. But let's go into the real stuff. This story was actually based off of a song that was written as a poem. So, it was kind of a book slash song as a poem as well. So, take what you will, but there's many different versions of this one in particular. You could say it's based off of Romeo and Juliet, but it's also based off of this song in particular as well. And you can tell that it's sort of a singy little song once you hear the title and once you hear it on Make My Music. So, that's probably why it's here look into the many different versions that this story has been through. Now, I'm not going to look into every single little detail within every single story, but I'm going to take a look in ones that just interest me and see which one probably applies to the story at hand and what makes the story a little bit more darker. More interesting, too. Pretty much, I have done my research, and there's not much I could say about the final product. Pretty much, people have just redubbed the song over the years. And it's the same kind of lyrics, only done different ways, I guess. Other than that, it's not much I could say about this story. Other than it's just written, it's just based on a song. Disney has done their version. Some people have done their versions. And it's just been an old adaptation that's been passed on generation. It's just part of folklore. Not to mention it's an old American song as well. So, what I could say about the Martha McCoy is only that it's been an originated song. Kind of like how Little Jordan Boy and Frosty the Snowman, how Rudolph were these stories that were Christmas songs. And that they originated into different ways as well. Other than that, that's all I could say about this story. I'll see you next time. There's not much to say about this, but only that at least we got to research about this song and learn about it together. Anyway, we'll get to research more about these stories later on, and I'll see you back here on the Terror Zone. Besides, the story is already dark as it is with the with the whole family dying and the new generation too. So with the vi and the gun violence, not to mention. And then being hillbillies might be, might be a little bit racist enough. So other than that, it's already dark as it is already. Anyway, bye.